for a nasty couple of minutes, it looked as though Samuel Sanchez might not reach the Tourmalet. Lying third overall, he was lying sprawled in the road early in the stage, the victim of a crash the cameras didn't see. He looked badly dazed to start with, but he soon had teammates around him to escort him back to the field. We're looking straight into the eyes of the yellow jersey. He's still sat on the wheel on the colder tourmalet of the white jersey, Andy Schleck. Neither has raised a pedal in anger. Their teammates are still setting the pace. 11 and a half kilometers to climb. The Russian, Alexander Kolomnev, the only survivor of seven. And there's lots of riders now, Phil. They've got a chance of getting a victory. Fulz gang, Phil, has pulled up. There's Andy Schleck's move. Well, this has to be now because he's lost all his teammates. Now it's time. It's come down to the top two riders in the Tour de France. Schleck grits his teeth. All Contador has to do is follow. Well, that's all he's doing currently. They've got Joachim Rodriguez just slipping back a fraction there. Is number 25, Levi Leipheimer. He's been put into difficulty by this acceleration. And what an acceleration here. Rodriguez, I think it is, is trying to get onto the tail and he's making it. And, and Denny Menchoff is trying to cross the gap. Sanchez has not responded. Yeah, but also coming across because Robert Gessink as well, because that's the other rider a little bit further back. Rodriguez can't stand the pace that's being dished out here by Andy Schleck. A counter-attack has pushed off uh, Nicholas Roach, but he still rides high in this Tour de France. He's in 18th at the start today. Can Andy Schleck get his hands on that yellow jersey? He's eight seconds off it. He needs it before the top today to start last in the time trial. Do you think Contador doesn't know that? Contador has not really attacked in this Tour de France, apart from the instance down into the finish the other day. He has just don't follow because he knows he's the master of the time trial. He looks concentrated there. He knows that all he has to do is match the man in front of him. He's just got to keep an eye on him. Schleck is accelerating a fraction here, trying to kick. break. Well, this is what Contador used to do. He doesn't look in any trouble yet. Remember that Contador, although he leads this race, hasn't won any of the stages. He won't want to go to Paris without winning one. And the last one he can win, really, is probably today. The lone figure of Kolodnev on the horizon. In the top two in the Tour de France, head up the cast as we head up to the top of the Tourmalet. We're still with the leaders. If anything, the crowd has got... The fog has got a little bit worse here, but it's quite clear outside our commentary box. Well, Andy Schleck still riding at the front, and now they're waiting for the uh, final Ultimo Kilometro. One the kilometre to the summit and the last climb in this year's Tour de France. The two men separated this morning by eight seconds are not separated by any more than eight seconds as they go into the last 900 metres. Well, Andy Schleck now has got to try and get his head around the fact that he's got to try and out-sprint Alberto Contador to at least get something back from the work that he's done in this breakaway this afternoon. Looking over 300 metres to go and still Contador sitting in second position. I just thought for a moment he was going to ride shoulder to shoulder with Schleck and may the best man win, but no, Contador has dropped back here. It is so steep and we're getting into the last 200 metres. Sooner or later, somebody's going to make a move. Well, this is the stick car. This climb field goes right the way up to the summit. They can't see the banner. It's covered in mist. But still, we're looking at about 150 metres to go for Andy Schleck. And Contador's waiting to make that move. It's got to come now. Of course, we're on the other side of the mountain and we are literally in the sun. But they're going to finish this race in the fog at the top. They look at the finishing line. They can reach out and touch it. It's Schleck on the right, in case you can't see. Contador, they start the sprint side by side. And and this is a huge effort. Alberto Contador, though, wants a stage win. And they're going to cross, and he's let Schleck take it. And so he should. That was incredible. Schleck wins. Contador takes second. Bueno, eh, desde luego que Andy, Andy, ha subido, Andy ha subido muy rápido. Como se han visto, pues que, que el resto de corredores estaban re, retrasados. Pero bueno, sí que es verdad que hoy he tenido, he tenido muy buenas sensaciones. Y he conseguido aguantar el ritmo... Eh, Bastante bien.